What's up guys, Madness here. And today I'm going to be going over some of the money making methods that I personally found to be quite useful in Curse of Eros. And um, we will start by basically going over how trading works and things like that. Um, this game does not have an auction system like other games do. You have to physically trade other players and essentially spam uh, what you're trying to sell on the global chat. Uh, it looks like this. If I go into my inventory and I look for something to sell, let's just say I want to sell a the spectral breastplate. Well, you're not going to have any idea how much it costs to sell and you aren't going to be able to uh, basically figure out any other way to sell it to players if you don't have a thing called Discord. Now Discord, if I go into Discord right here, this is the PHG Discord, the, the guild I'm in, and uh, it's got a bunch of different uh, side tabs here, different menus to choose from, and uh, they have a lot of useful information in all of these types of things. Like if I was to look for um, See, they have guild giveaways, and they have boss raids, if you wanted to go do boss raids. Uh, rolls and screenshots of what they do. It's just standard stuff, usually, for, for larger guilds. But in the marketplace, you can go into price list, and you can get a general idea of how much spectral bodies would cost. And from here, it's, it looks like it's 3 to 4 mil for a spectral breastplate. Now I can cross check that with going into an actual, the actual Curse of Eros chat. Let's just go into the global chat for now. Uh, just so, I, you know, for whatever reason people don't like the Patreon, the Patreon announcements and stuff like that and you get in trouble for that. So I'm not going to go into that right yet. Um, but if I want to look at Spectral, which is SP, it stands for Spectral. Uh, let's just go chest, let's see if anything comes up. Okay, so people are looking to sell SP chests and things like that. He wants to buy one for 1.6 mil. Obviously, the uh, pricing is a little off, I'm going to guesstimate, but you can get a good gauge of how much you want to buy and sell things for right here in the chat to see people actually sell them say SP body as well uh, anything like breastplate SP whatever so you know this guy is selling his for 2.8 mil which is closer to the 3 4 mil range that was originally looked at yeah 2.9 mil but these are selling this guy wants to buy an SP body without uh, a price obviously he's gonna kind of haggle the price with you and so this is what I do to figure out how much stuff is in the game. Get a quick look. 2.9 seems pretty fair. And then you just go into the chat and you say you want to sell uh, SP body for 2.8 mil. I think that's a pretty fair price looking at what I just saw. Uh, and then you wait essentially until somebody wants to trade with you. Nice buddy Dragonborn. Um, but in terms of other money making methods and just how things are done, um, I'm going to start off with a really low level money maker um, starting from spawn and it'll be a wood cutting skill and all you're going to go over and do is cut pine logs right over here. You're going to cut these three pine logs right here and they cut very fast if you're a high level woodcutter obviously you probably uh, have cut a bunch of these in the past but the reason you're cutting these pine logs is so you can turn them into accuracy relics and accuracy relics actually sell for a, quite a lot they can go for between eight and nine hundred each at the uh, Maybe even a thousand. You could probably get closer to a thousand, in my opinion, nowadays with the, the amount of people looking for these kinds of things. And uh, yeah, it's accuracy relics 
is my first money making method for low level players. Very easy to make. You can start at level one. If you don't know where to get an axe, you come right over to this merchant right here. You enter the merchant and then you scroll down to the axes and you'll start off with a bronze axe at level one. And yeah, do those uh, for as much as you can do, as much money as you want. It is a great way to farm to level up a low level account for wood cutting and it will be much easier for you to get glacial and dead rock sets for those higher levels. I think they're around level 70, 72. You can start using dead rock and glacial sets. And that's the big gap between say, you know, the myth in that you'll be using to 60, 65 and that next set because a lot of people just don't know how to make enough money early in the game to even start uh, accumulating those sets. So, um, yeah. Okay, so for the next money making method, I will be going into the mining skill. Um, and you're going to be going to do coal right down here from spawn. Now, I believe you have to be level 20 to start doing coal. Um, Coal will give you uh, between five and 600 uh, GP per coal each, uh, depending on the players you sell it to. Some sell it or purchase it for 600, some sell it, you know, buy it for 500. But it's a really good way to start making money if you like mining instead of wood cutting. Uh, it's very fast because it is very close to spawn. Um, and you just use those four nodes right here and you mine, fill up your inventory, and then you bank. And I would sell these in bulk of about a thousand each, so it would net you about 500k uh, per 1,000 coal. But it's a very simple low-level method. You'll have to get through copper, copper and tin ore, and iron ore to get to the coal ore. Um, there is another area in the PvP zone that I'll go to right now you want to shorten your trips just a little bit it's right down here from spawn um, there's two nodes right here one and two and then two more down here one and two and those are slightly faster than the ones I just showed you um, in terms of banking speed but it is in the PvP so if you're not comfortable going to the PvP zone uh, just use the other four I recommended earlier and that's it that's coal very fast method for making money at low levels. Um, I think dead rock sets and things like that now are very cheap anyway, so it would only take you five or six thousand um, coal. <clears throat> and the reason I say coal over other uh, mining methods, this will be the only money making method for mining skills, is because coal is so versatile uh, in terms of other people leveling up their mining skill that they will use it a lot more often and it is in a lot higher demand. That's why I say coal over say Mythin Ore, Cobalt, uh, or even Varax. I mean you can buy, you can get players to buy and sell Varax and Cobalt and all those because they are useful, but coal is definitely the best for uh, newer players in the game by far. Um, and it is a big game changer when you start actually grinding a lot of these and getting sales when you link up with people specifically looking to buy in bulk. So yeah, coal is my second one. Okay, so for this next money-making method, uh, it's going to be a combat money-making method, but it's for extremely low players. Anybody can start doing this essentially right off spawn when they first start playing the game. And you're going to be going over from spawn. You, you go up this path right here, and you start killing these forest spiders. Now the reason you're killing these forest spiders is because you're looking for spider carcasses and spider silk. Um, and they do drop pretty often, often enough to warrant this as a good money making method. And uh, most people just kind of ignore these. I'm not getting any... <laughs> they ignore this, uh, these, these items because they don't currently have a use in the game. Um, but I assure you they are very good for uh, higher level players with particular ideas of what they want in bulk for the next coming updates and things like that. But you just keep killing these spiders and eventually they'll stop dropping spider silk and spider carcasses. 
Um, of course, I'm not getting any. <laughs> but I need it. There we go. There's a spider silk right there. And then you just pick them up. And they're stackable too, which is great. Um, so if I go into my inventory, I can show you the, the small amount that I've accumulated um, over time just doing that when I was bored because we're not sure what these items are going to be for and if they're stackable, odds are they will have some kind of stackable use uh, in the update. Um, but again, nobody knows what they're for, but they are excellent for selling those with these ice crystals right here. Um, are excellent for money making and to show you where I go to farm ice crystals we go from spawn we're gonna head over to the winter area going this way um, you're gonna go to the slime location and then you're gonna head south past the slime location and down keep following this path here and then you'll get to the frozen tunnels and you're gonna pass the frozen tunnels right here in the snow location. Now when you're in the snow location, when you start seeing all these snowmen right here, just head north. Oops, get stuck on a rock. <laughs> and uh, keep heading north, take this path or the other path right next to it. And all you're doing is you're going up here. Uh, you're looking for this specific little dead log right here. It'll start giving you an option tab to enter. You enter like so, and this is where you can farm ice spiders to gain ice crystals, and I think they've dropped spider silk as well. So this is what I do. I just run around and kill these guys and get a lot of the ice crystals. Because again, we're not sure what they do, but people pay a lot for these. Um, and just to show you that they do pay a lot for these, I'm gonna jump into Discord, and we're gonna type in spider we're just going to hit enter and we're going to take a look and see if anybody's buying or selling these right now. See, everybody wants these. They're buying spider silk and carcass. They're buying spider silk and carcass. This person particularly, he's going to sell, he wants to buy them from you for 2,000 each, but often enough you'll see them for about 1,000 each. And especially the ice crystals, 3,000 each, they're very, very good if you want to farm for money. Um, and most people forget about these, but go into the Discord, the official Curse of Eris Discord or your guild Discord and take a look at who's buying and selling those and I assure you, you will make a lot of money fast just with that method by itself. Um, so yeah, really, really get those done. Um, and I will be giving you guys a demonstration of a sale, an actual trade sale in a second. Um, so yeah, just Farm up as many of those as you can and sell them to the highest bidder, essentially. And then just DM them on the Discord saying you have, you know, X amount and, you know, follow the trade scale accordingly after I show you how to trade. Um, so, yeah, that's my third money-making method. Those three things right there. Very easy, very simple. Um, I almost forgot. If you want to, there are other spiders in the slime location right over here towards these willow trees. You see all these fishing spiders, very low level. You just whack them and they drop spider silk and spider carcasses. See, just like that. And you just keep accumulating them. And again, they're stackable, which is excellent. So really pay attention to that stuff. I know most people don't even pay attention to them. They don't even pick them up, but I assure you, you should start picking them up and selling them if you're having a real hard time making money in the game. Now I'm going to buy some spider carcasses and currently they're going for a thousand each so what I do is I just spam the chat like everybody else so I'll, I'll type sell and actually normally I like to type in capital letters just so people can see it better sell whatever you're selling or buy which I'm about to do buy spider carcass don't know how to spell it that's good enough 1k each okay and then I would just put it out there and then I'd wait at spawn to go through a trade I have my son right here say hi hi that's my son right there his name in the game is into madness he's a little 55 and uh, he plays with me from time to time yeah I've been chopping wood a lot and mining 
think so. I'm not high level. I'm not even close to as high as level as my dad. Well, you'll get there. But this is what we do for now. So I'll click on him and I'll click trade. Now you have to be a certain distance away from other players. Um, just make sure you're in, I would say, five to six tiles and the trade should go through. And that's after combat. If you're in combat, you're going to have to wait, I think it's 20 to 30 seconds before you can actually trade somebody. So he's got my spider carcasses. He's yep. going to put them up on the screen. There are 12 slots total when you trade. And I said 1,000 each. So that would be 200,000 gold total for the 200 spider carcasses. And you just wait for them to confirm and then you double check and make sure everything looks correct. I'm giving him 200,000. He is giving me 200 spider carcasses. And then you hit accept. And no, you're not giving me back the money. You can keep that. Thanks, Dad. And that's it. You're welcome in a real oh, trade. You're gonna do just a thank you to say that uh, the trade is complete essentially. You're being uh, nice to the person you traded with. And that's it, that's how you trade somebody. And that's showing you guys exactly how much these are going for. So they are pretty lucrative for low level players in the game. So yeah. Okay, so for my fourth money making uh, tip uh, is actually going to be tasks. Uh, each task grants you a reward of gold and uh, a different reward for every task you complete. And uh, you go do them, you, you basically you go figure out what your tasks are. I like to group my tasks, so I'll go do the Ice Raptors by themselves, and then I'll come back, get a new task, and if I get them all, say, in the prison, like the rest of them are, I'll do a big prison run for all of the tasks before I leave the prison again, just to save on uh, the use of my prison keys and what I want to touch on here is scrolls right here. Are the, these are the only three scrolls other than the scrolls you have to purchase with shards, the home teleport scroll and the scrolls of rebirth that I actually keep. So uh, the other scrolls, um, I, I just sell them. And you, as you'll see, they sell for quite a lot. I mean, they're all a little different, but they're all very expensive. And uh, I sell my scrolls of protection, the, the scrolls of redirect, I think they're called, uh, the blue heart scrolls, the ones that, uh, like scrolls of uh, rejuvenation, I think they are. I sell all of those to the vendor when I get them. And as you can see, when you finish a task, they will grant you, see, yeah, right here. They'll give me 20 of those. Now 20 times, you see 32 here for those. I'll keep the strength ones because I actually use those, but those three other scrolls, protection, rejuvenation, and redirect, I don't actually use because there's no real use for them in the game, save for very, very select uh, times. And to be honest with you, I would rather take the 3,000 or the 4,500 gold that they grant times, you know, 32 in a task completion and make a lot of extra money that way. That really actually sets apart the task uh, board for making money. So if I go do all my tasks and I sell all the scrolls that I don't use, um, I'll usually end up with around 800,000 to a million gold at the end of uh, every five task cycle. So really sell your scrolls, the, the non-useful ones in my opinion for right now. Hold on to uh, the Scrolls of Vitality, Scrolls of Power, and the Scrolls of Accuracy. Those are the only ones I recommend you hold on to um, and sell all the rest of those scrolls. Okay? And during your tasks, you'll get a lot of you know, additional experience that basically doubles the experience you're going to get from the monsters you're killing anyway. And um, you know, a substantial amount of gold, which effectively doubles how much gold you'd earn from the amount of monsters you'd kill for the task. So really do your tasks. I don't care what level you are, do your tasks. And <laughs> when my son plays with me, he's always, you know, telling me he's, he, he can't, uh, he doesn't like doing the tasks because it's boring, but this is a grindy game and I keep reminding him that the tasks are effectively doubling and shortening your time. 
uh, for gaining experience and gold. So really go do your tasks. And this is the task board again. Now to give you a quick tip, if you are level 65 or higher, you can get boss tasks. And starting from spawn, you're gonna head to Varaxis, which is this way. You're gonna follow my pathing here and head up to this portal right up here. You're gonna enter Varaxis and then you're gonna head this way and then north to the bank location right here in Varaxis. There's also another task board right there, but here is the boss task board. Simply click on it and it will give you boss tasks. And the boss tasks, like see how many med potions I would get for just killing 20 golems. And you're gonna be going and farming golems so often that it's really worth your time to gain all these tasks. Just like ice demons, like 104 strength or scrolls of power, and they're all really good. Um, I'd say if you're level 65 or higher and you are getting these tasks, see how it's still giving me small potions? Well, above 60 I'd say, uh, small potions don't really have much of a use, they just don't heal enough to be worth your time to uh, spam when you could be spamming med potions or flasks of life, so I'd really sell them as well. Um, and if I go back down here, and I go get myself some small potions from say killing some bats, I can show you just how lucrative it is to sell your small potions off uh, because you usually won't use them at higher levels. Uh, I would still recommend you use them for the really low level skilling stuff, I'd say between, you know, I think 45 would be my cap for using these small potions. Um, but so I have a few small potions, I come over here and I'll vendor them as well. And they sell for 35 each, but you'll get so many stacks of them that you'll actually start to accumulate a lot of money just off the small potions you don't use. Um, but I do seriously, again, I do not recommend you selling them if you are extremely low level. I only recommend you selling them once you have decent gear and a decent stack of medium potions. So yeah, do your tasks, sell the scrolls that are not very useful in terms of this game. Uh, the Scrolls of Redirect, Rejuvenation, and Protection, they'll grant you a lot of money and when the time comes that say a new boss comes out and those are actually useful, you'll have plenty of stacks and know how to get them easily enough anyway to make it worth your time not to. Um, and then sell your small potions at higher levels. So yeah, that's my fourth money making tip for task boards and scrolls and small potions. Okay, so for my last tip, this is a tip that is against the grain pretty much in terms of boss tasks. So this is for higher level players looking to make some extra money. I know there aren't many good ways to make money in this game. I'm just showing you the ones that I personally used and I used the five different methods, which was obviously what you saw for the lower levels. And uh, I always do my tasks. When you're doing your tasks, especially when you get to Phantom Fiends and Spectral Fiends and things, you'll be constantly getting good drops from them just because you'll be killing them so often for your tasks that it's inevitable you'll run into decent gear. Um, but for people who are having issues with getting Golem items, say you're level 80 and you're, you're still in Dead Rock and uh, you have a spectral sword and you're just trying to get golem parts well i really recommend that you skip golem and umbra for now until you get to a better level situation say 90 or above and with full phantom at least and maybe the golem axe go do the ice demon i know people hate the ice demon but i'm telling you the drops from the ice demon will catapult your account to get those items to start actually gaining drops from uh, say golem and better. Um, I did skip um, damage relics and power relics. You can do those for money making as well. Um, but again, a lot of people are buying and selling those in extreme bulk. So I really suggest you just uh, use my wood cutting guide and my mining guides to uh, gain information about higher level wood cutting and mining skills, uh, as well as my crafting guide for the crafting skills because uh, again, it's the, the market is currently really flooded with uh, power relics, willow logs, maple logs, and damage relics. Um, see this person is buying gold ore and coal 
for 700. So 700 is actually really good for coal. So there you go. There's more for coal. Um, but again, uh, this next method is the ice demon. Okay, so my next money making. <laughs> you hit him. You gotta run, man. I don't want to do it. No. Does he have a shield? Yeah, so we gotta get him on these platforms right here. Oh. And that's how we get his shield down. So you use these platforms and they change. There's four in this room. Like, see how it changed? We gotta move back up here, but just keep spamming med pots the whole time. Um, that's the only real, it's a tank fight, so we're mashing. Um, yeah. My first time killing it. Oh, really? Oh, this yeah. will be interesting for you then. <laughs> yeah. If we get any good drops, we're gonna, we're gonna split the money that if, when I sell it or if you get it. So that's what I wanna do with you. That's how, I think that's pretty fair. Um, and that's what I'm recommending people do for the ice demon. Um, just split the drops with a, like a friend from your guild, so to speak. Um, so yeah, that's for my money making guide. This next one right here, this is the ice demon. And I suggest you guys use a friend like my, my buddy right here, PhD Ronan. Say hi, Ronan. Hi. <laughs> and, uh, Try to be above level 70 like we are right now and have at least dead rock gear. If you want uh, a more in-depth version of the Ice Demon fight, really check out my Ice Demon guide. It's up on my channel. But essentially what we're doing is we're, we're having the damage that he dishes out and trying to kill him that much faster by doubling down on the damage. And whatever drops he does get, um, we'll split when we sell it. And that's how we're going to... Uh, do this this boss right here. So Rona, you got to bring him over too. <laughs> you got to bring him over to the flames, man. Um, and yeah, you just keep farming him. The drops here are pretty rare, but they are worth so much that it is worth your time to bring a friend and split the loot. I mean, if you drop uh, a phantom helm or spectral helm. <laughs> you can you can get a lot of money for those there's something around 60 mil for the phantom helms and i think about half that price for the spectral helms so let me let me i'm going to try and jump on him over here you just got to keep because he will stand a little bit lower than the uh the flame blocks if you stand right in the middle of them so i try to stay on like the edges um so yeah that's what we do uh for this higher level money making tip only because it's also um, far less populated in terms of uh, chances of having people show up and crash you there's no real crashing here it's uh, not many people like the ice demon but his drops are worth it in terms of money uh, you will go through a lot of medium potions and it will be a pretty big time crunch because it does take a while for a shield to go down. Um, but like I said, get a buddy, like my buddy here, PhD Ronan. <laughs> the champion with his lightsaber and his Easter bunny. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll just do a couple more of these and a uh, uh, huge shout out to him for uh, waiting for me essentially to stop procrastinating and come out with a new guide. <laughs> uh, but yeah, these are these are one of the better. This is one of the better methods uh, for making money if you don't want to deal with the golem and umbra grinds. Uh, say you're not getting many drops from golem or umbra, and uh, you're just tired of waiting for you know good good worlds to uh, farm them. I know golem, especially for lower level players, is quite difficult to obtain gear because a lot of the higher level players with you know say full umbra really get in there and just steal all the good drops from everybody so there's basically that high skill level cap for those two especially with golem umbra you can get lucky and usually if you get in a world with you know two or less players you can still have a good time taking turns if you have good gearing for it already uh, i'd say phantom or better um, golem golem phantom 
or any umber pieces you can acquire at the time. <laughs> yeah, he's at eight percent shield, so let's just kill him. Um, and yeah, that's what I, I recommend for for players that don't want to deal with that. I also recommend uh, at the same time uh, when you're doing your ice demons, uh, really, really try to get the tasks from the Varax boss task. Um, Location. It's at the bank in Varax. It's right to the right, um, and it will allow you to gain tasks, different boss tasks. And I think you start getting Ice Demon tasks in the 80 range, level 80. So do that for the extra money and uh, experience, as well as some other rewards that you always get from doing boss tasks. Um, Ronan, is there anything else that I did not mention? that you can think of for doing what's that right <laughs> yeah well I get on a roll and then I just kind of monologue so um, yeah Ronan Ronan's just been a, a, a good a good friend to me he did give me uh, what was it? It was uh, a bunch of pine logs, right? You just gave them to me. You didn't have to, but <laughs> I needed them. Yeah, the pine logs in this guide were uh, provided by Ronan. And uh, what else did you give me? I think he gave me some other things. It was a little while ago. Um, I think so. I, I can't remember. It might have been uh, scrolls because... Um, yeah, I think I traded scrolls to you or something. It might have been you, it might have been someone else, I can't remember. But at least I remember that you did farm me some pine logs, maybe even some maple logs, I think. So uh, I can give you maple if you want to have like 5k. Wow, you got a, that's a lot of maple logs. Uh, yeah, damage relics, damage relics are freaking awesome. Um, I know if you go into the Discord for Curse of Eros, the main Curse of Eros Discord, um, if you just type it in the search bar, say maple logs or anything you have interest in, and I'll show that in a little bit in this guide. Um, if you're interested in just getting straight to the point and searching for things like that, um, it's very, very easy to do in the discord instead of spamming, um, different selling and buying things that you're interested in, in, in trading with other players. It's just faster that way. If you're really looking for specific items or like Ronan said, he's got 5,000 maples. So <laughs> trading 5k maples in a shot is going to take somebody with a lot of money and uh, it might be more lucrative for him to just uh, go into the discord and post it um, just so he can sell them all off maybe in one shot or in bulk you know, say 2K each, um, and for his own price. So, um, yeah, the Ice Demon, that'd be sweet if the Ice Demon dropped something good. <laughs> but I really recommend doing this with a body, especially with the lower levels, um, and just split split the, uh, the drops. Like, I just got more, you know, health pots and stuff, so I'll just give him, you know, some of the health potions that I picked up. Um, Let's see here. Uh, let's give him, I'll give you 500 I think so far. I don't know if I even got that many, but I think that's pretty good. Oh, you do? Okay. Well, I'm just showing them for the guide just to split all the loot and things like that. So, <laughs> so I'll give you those just to, you know, to show people like split your loot and uh, be cool with your, your guild mates and things like that. Um, I, yeah, I got a lot of them too. I got like over 50k of them just through tasks. I just did a lot of tasks and that's how I got all my potions. Um, especially with better gear. You don't need them as much. Um, but yeah, the Ice Demon's only really good if you are playing with a buddy. Or you're super high level and you don't care about how many potions you spend. You just want to mash potions away because you have too many anyway and you're really looking for the expensive drops, so. Um, yeah. So, uh, Ronan, I think we'll do one more Ice Demon, and then I will uh, get on with the rest of the guide. 
Um, okay. If you want to give a shout out to anybody or just, you know, say whatever you want, uh, <laughs> uh, you go ahead. You can give a guild shout out if you want to now. Um, and then we'll, uh, we'll end the ice demon uh, part to the guide. I think it's pretty cool that you came and helped, so I really appreciate that. Um, Right, right. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> I think that was like the fastest guild shout out I could have thought of. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, man. Yeah, seriously. Um, come to our guild. I'll be there. Ronan's there. Um, Pretty cool people. Most, you know, mostly everybody. Everybody has different uh, interactions and uh, different opinions about different things. But PHG has stayed very, uh, very cool with everything that I've seen. Um, I'm now a moderator there, so you can always come to me with any problems with anybody, and I'll hear you out. And if they deserve to get banned or booted, and I don't like doing that, obviously. But if there's somebody that's that you can prove to me that they have cheated or have done something pretty malicious to somebody else, I'll take care of that too. So that's a pretty good one. Um, <laughs> uh, and other than that, they're just really cool and fun and it's just, they, they'll give you a lot of information. So, um, especially with trading. So if you want to sell things, you can sell things on PHG. If you're having a hard time selling things on the main discord, um, Again, shout out to Ronan. He's freaking awesome. And dude, thank you again for uh, for waiting. I know I, I, I went on a trip and it took me a little longer than I would like to get this guide out, but he waited, he was patient. He was uh, hitting me up on Discord and you know, he was really cool about it. You know, I had some family stuff going on so we had to postpone it yet again, but here we are. And uh, thanks a lot, bro. I really appreciate that. <clears throat> I mean, so Kate, you're a fist, by the way. A blind show. Right. Of course, I'm the queen. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I, like I said, man, I'm, I'm, I think I'll be doing more of this stuff in my future guides, including uh, guys from our guild and things like that. So if you want to be included in the guide, like Ronan, um, you got to be a member of the guild, I'll just say that right now, and uh, hit me up ahead of time. And if I can fit you in somehow, I'll, I'll try to find a way to do so. Okay, so there you have it on my money-making tips for this game. These are the tips that I recommend to players who are having difficulty with the normal grind of the game. And they're just some interesting, more lucrative ways to... Um, <clears throat> gain more gear so that you can unlock new stuff to do um, a little bit faster than normal. Like I know I didn't cover the Ancient Warbat and I have a full guide on the Ancient Warbat if you're looking to gain more glacial items and if you think that's a good money making method. I also have Golem and Umber guides for those people that are looking to just uh, farm those bosses until they actually get their drops to make those gearing items. Um, and I did not cover golemite bats and golemite fiends because players are going to have a very rough time farming them if they don't have great gear already. These are just tips for low level players trying to gain access to higher level content in this game because in my opinion uh, the gap between low level say myth and cobalt, vorax and even dead rock uh, there's a massive gap between those sets and even Glacial and the Phantom, Spectral, Golemite, and Umbral sets of the end game. Especially the Golem and Umbra sets, those are extremely difficult to get and they will take you a long time to get anyway. And I really recommend you farming those bosses if you're looking to gear up there instead of trying to purchase um, all of those items 
Uh, you can still make enough money doing different things and purchase, say, golem slabs, uh, dragon horns, uh, golem shards, um, dragon scales, and those things. And you can check the prices like I showed you on the Curse of Eros Discord. Uh, but for the most part, um, the reason the Ice Demon was my number one pick in terms of bossing outside the normal golem and umbra grind was because nobody does it and when you get a good drop it's an excellent drop even if you split it with somebody else so you get the phantom helm well both of you will have enough money to at least afford a dragon claw after that sale has been made with the phantom helm that you got as a drop and it shouldn't take you very long i've gotten both the spectral and phantom helm drops in a relatively small amount of kills to the ice demon if i type uh, slash KC, I can take a look at how many ice demons I've killed. 340. So I've gotten both of those drops in 340 kills, and that was just me doing tasks. So uh, I hope you guys found this useful. These are just some tips, like I said, that helped me and were a little bit outside the box thinking in terms of how I accumulated some extra gold in the game. Um, Going forward, I will be making more money-making method guides and things like that until new content drops. I think I've covered most of this game's content pretty, pretty in-depth so far with my skilling guides, boss guides, and pet guides. Um, I am not a person that makes guides or YouTube videos for no real reason. I don't like that. I like to stay informative, and I like giving you guys... Uh, as much information as I think you need to uh, do well in the game. Uh, so I don't do any of those silly like, um, like look, hide and seek and come watch and subscribe. No, I'm not going to do any of that crap. Um, I'll do that stuff with my guild, but I probably won't record it just because I don't feel a need to. Um, and I will be covering all future content in the game with new guides and new additions to my guides. So. I'll always be around, and if you catch me in game, give me a shout out. If you want to be uh, shouted out to in the up and coming videos, let me know, and I will most definitely do that. Um, again, a shout out to the Phantom Guild. They're still running strong. I know people think that uh, there were some issues with content release information and things like that, and we had issues with that, but. Uh, as a moderator for that uh, I haven't seen anything personally and we're still doing just fine so come check us out there will be a link in the description and again if you found this video useful please like comment and subscribe um, that way you can get any of the new guides I come out with as fast as possible and uh, again my name is madness and thanks for watching <laughs>